news. For over three weeks, protesters have been standing in front of Tanner's Big Orange on Pleasantburg Highway in response to posts on social media made by Tanner's owner, John Zeller. Today, he issued a formal apology. Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer was there at Tanner. She's live this afternoon on what he had to say and how the response has been so far from the community. Carrie? That's right, Cody. You know, today John Zeller said that he's desperately trying to find the right words and he regrets what he put on social media, but his apology was not well received by everyone here today. I couldn't be more regretful for the words that I said. They were wrong words. Um, um, <clears throat> I've apologized um, uh, with, with as much sincerity as I have to many people uh, personally and, and now I'm doing so publicly. John Zeller, the owner of Tanner's Big Orange, says he was triggered by something he saw on Facebook and responded with provocative and inflammatory language that he says set the city on fire. I renounced the words I used. They, they were wrong. Um, uh, I'm asking everybody in the, uh, uh, that was affected by my words uh, to forgive me. You know, please, for the sake of everybody involved, uh, I ask for forgiveness and uh, hope that there's more talk about forgiveness in the, in the future. That formal apology was announced today inside his restaurant as protesters continue to boycott outside Tanner's Big Orange as they have for over three weeks now. It's almost 30 days now. You could have done that formal apology the first day. So that lets me know that you apologize is simply because your dollar, your, your pocket is hurting. COVID-19 slowdown had my business on the ropes and I've already already cut staff and uh, the worst thing in the world could have happened would have been this because uh, you know I'd be a liar you know if I said that it hadn't hurt our, our business. While those outside said they wanted action and not an apology, other activists who had met with Zeller prior to today say this is a step towards being able to move forward. Until we have these conversations, until we commit to it, as a community, we're going to be boycotting and rallying and protesting for the rest of our lives. We met with him uh, with, with the expressed interest of trying to bring uh, some resolve and at the same time trying to hear uh, just what he wanted to relate to us. It's too easy to, to, uh, to fire off stuff out there and you don't see the consequences. You know, I'd heard that, but I've, I've learned my lesson about that now. Now, Dr. U.A. Thompson that you heard from in there says that having that hard conversation with Zeller was really the first step. Zeller said today that he plans to continue to have conversations with activists in the area. But the protesters we talked to outside said they also plan to continue boycotting Tanners. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Carrie Weimer, Fox Carolina, the 4 o'clock news.